It is now time to go over to our Kitchen World Kitchen where Victoria and Chef Tom is here. He's here every Friday and we love having him here. Hey guys. Hey Laura, you know what? I love their accent. They always sound so calm, and I'm saying that as a compliment. I'd like to be calm right now, but we're making something, I guess, kind of appropriate blood sausage. Yeah, well, it's, we, it's made. We're going to well, cook well, it. Yes, we have pre made blood sausage and uh, white, white pudding sausage here, which are kind of a traditional Irish uh, breakfast that we'll be featuring this weekend. Let's clarify blood sausage, it is literally what it is. It is, there is actual, yes, blood, prob probably pork blood, I believe, here. I believe this is pork uh, that was used. and. Basically, at the very end, it's got to be uh, fresh blood. I was reading up on it. It's got to be fresh blood. They, as opposed to what, old As blood? opposed to coagulated, <laughs> yeah, older blood. It's, and uh, they, mix, they mix it right in with the meat and the herbs and everything and put it in the casing right from there. So. What's the difference between, uh, I guess, the taste? Does it lend to a different taste than a regular sausage? It's definitely got a different flavor, yes. I, I, was, I tried some of it the other day, and it's definitely got a richer, kind of heavier flavor. Can you taste the blood? No, you can't taste the blood. That's just in your mind. You know, you don't even have to think about that. That's... I can't help but think well, about it. Well, maybe you can have the white pudding sausage instead. I'll we'll try go that. with that. That's, it has a little oatmeal, a little leak in it. And you some always give me an out. I try to. Okay, some of the ingredients that they should get together, in, including the blood sausage. And of course, we have the sausages here. We have some eggs we're going to fry off. Um, I'm also going to roast some tomato slices here. And then we have hash browns. Of course, it's the ba you know, basic components of that potato, onion, peppers. And then we're going to also do a little, uh, little pork and beans here. We'll... For to go with the dish? Yep, it's a very big breakfast. It's uh, traditional Irish style. So. Really? I love pork and beans. Well, it's excellent. one of my favorites. Well, we go so a little less sausage yeah, and you can have that then. <laughs> And welcome back. We are going to head back into the kitchen where Victoria and Chef Tom are getting really into that recipe today. Yes, we are. <laughs> Blood sausage on this Friday morning. Very Irish fair. Uh, we've got Chef Tom from the Irishman. Where else? It is Friday. And I can smell the sausage. It smells very uh, organy, kind of like liver to me. Yeah, it's kind of have. It's got a very distinctive smell. Yeah. Once you take it out of the casing, you definitely start to get pick up a little bit of the smell. I, I'm not huge on it either. I'm, I'm not. Quite, I don't think I'm quite as upset by this as you are right now, Victoria. <laughs> but you know, it's. I've worked with stuff. I've seen some things before. You know, I'm in the just such a compassionate person. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> stuff, sensitive. The stuff's gonna die anyways. You know, you might as well eat it. You just might as well not let it go to waste. And it That's is the fresh blood, at. That's as right. you said. Right, not coagulated, fresh. That's the key. That is Apparently. the key. Yeah. Apparently. Where do you get blood sausage? Um, Any sausage maker? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we special order that we've had to make a special order for this to have it in for the weekend. So. All right. Yeah, you can Let's, go to a butcher. I mean, the fre obviously with this, the fresher, the fresher it is, the better. If you're going to do it, you want to. You do might it as well get it fresh, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, what are we going to start with now? Well, basically, I'm just still chopping up my onions here. I'm getting ready to make my uh, my home fries and everything, and we're going to start sautéing off the actual sausage. I'm going to sauté that with a little onion, a little butter, and a little cider, actually, to kind of cut some of the flavor. Um, so you're going to add the peppers to the sausage while you're frying it up, or not, to the home fries? Not the peppers. Uh, this is for the home fries I'm chopping up right now. I'm going to sauté both. I'm going to do them separate for you, so make, to give you the option of doing the white pudding sausage. And Tell then, us what's in white pudding sausage again. Uh, there was oatmeal, leeks, and uh, basically the same components as other sausages. Just you know, fresh, fresh herbs. So salt. it's a meat product. It's in a meat product. It's a meat product. Yeah, but the oatmeal, the oatmeal is uh, what makes it. I really want to take a deep breath on that one. All right, I'm going to let you continue uh, chomping up. Here are okay. some highlights. We tell you everything every week. Uh, something that they're, that's going on at the Irishman. They're going to highlight a pub quiz um, Sunday, March 11th. That's this Sunday. That is this Sunday. That is this Sunday. Free screening of the jig. 5 p.m. at the meeting house at 5658 Main Street. That's Sunday, March 11th. And Finian's monthly pub quiz, sponsored by Killian's Irish Ale and Jameson Irish Whiskey. Four person teams, $5 donation to play. Test your knowledge and have great prizes. Trivia okay. is always very popular. At the Isn't Irish it? Yeah. Yes, it's a good time. <laughs> I'll give you a trivia about last time I ate blood sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not family friendly. Um, when we come back, we're going to put it all together. Where? Let's go back to Laura right now. All right, before we get to the blood sausage, which you have already started, um, we've got to give a shout out of congratulations, first of all, to the two schools that we had on for the Taste of Education competition that we're competing. We want to congratulate Lakeshore Carrier for winning first place, Emerson School of Hospitality for winning second place, and Irishman. And uh, Chef Mike McGee from the Irishman won the Iron Chef competition last night, so we're very proud of him. We just wanted to. Congratulations, Mike. Throw that out there to him. And enjoy your free six-pack of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Only to the chef, not to the high school students. Of course, of course we're, not. We're making blood sausage right now. Um, we're cooking it up. You have what going? Well, I started off, I just want to get a little browning on the uh, hash browns here. So I just obviously did some garlic, some onions, uh, some potatoes, and peppers in here. And this is starting to brown off. That's pretty close. And 
I'm starting to saute off some onion and garlic, and then I'm going to uh, put the sausage in here. So. You put them both together? Would you like me to keep them separate? No, I'm going to try them both. You're going to try them both? Yes. All right, then we'll do it together. Then we'll, we'll, we'll go all out here. And we're just basically, I mean, this is already, it's already uh, cooked. This is, uh, you know, the sauce. Oh, it is already stuff. cooked? I was going to ask you that. Oh, yeah, it is already cooked. So basically, we're just heating it through and just adding a little more flavor here. All right, now, this is something that is offered at the Irishman's Pint Lifters brunch menu Saturday, this Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's one of the brunch features, Irish fry combo, if, in case you're interested. It's a half a pound of blood sausage and a half a pound of that white pudding sausage right there, yep. fried eggs, hash browns. You're doing the whole thing. Yes, we yeah, it's a uh, fried tomatoes eggs, and pork everything. and beans. We're going all out. You are going all out. And, and a little cider here. That will the brunch we'll runs let that cook in. from, let's see, March 11th, uh, starts from noon to 3. Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Yes. Okay, so have brunch at the Irishman Saturday and Sunday. If you're willing and want to, that's one of the featured menus. You also have blood sausage, Irish fry, white pudding, Irish fry, so you can choose which one you want, eggs Benedict, mm -hmm. breakfast burrito. We okay, have there many, it is. many options. Many. You know, people don't think we would have uh, brunch, but we have a pretty, we have a very nice brunch there, and the pine lifters brunch is even better. So it, it would make sense because after being there last night, you want to come back a little bit later after you sleep. A well, right, right. You'll have that. You'll have that. The Irishman. It's it's one of those things. I'm just frying off some uh, some roast and some tomatoes here. We've got our pork and beans over here. My what hash kind of beans are you used for the, to make the pork and beans? Um, it's just just plain uh, regular canned beans that you can pick up. It doesn't matter. It's your preference. Okay. And that's what we're using at the store and or at the restaurant. And then once I cook these down, we're pretty much going to be good to go. I just need to uh, just heat it up. My eggs. Yep. You just heat it up. We're gonna reduce all that. Uh, reduce all the cider out of there. And okay. I'm going to go on this side. All right. I've got my knife and fork ready. All right. We're ready to go. Ready to go. All right. And. Uh -huh. Once I fry up my egg, I'm almost set here. I've got. Do you happen to know what um, your chef, Mr. McGee, had to cook for the taste well, of education? Well, the mystery ingredients uh, were cabbage and Guinness, so it was. Uh, oh, it was right up his alley. It was. It was right in his wheelhouse, so it worked out pretty well for him. Right in his wheelhouse. I yes, like that one. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, and he did a good job. So and we were, we went out there last night. It was a very good time. Saw Ellie out there and Lauren. So it was a very good time. They were. They were judges for it, I believe so. And you were out there having a good time. Well, yeah, you know. Are you engaged? I'm not engaged yet. No, the trip yet? to Atlanta went uh, went well, but there was no no proposal or anything like that. I, I think so. that would be almost too expected. I'm looking yeah. for something of a surprise. I'm gonna have to try to yeah you know, pull out pull out the stops. So exactly. When I do do it, it's going to be you know. I have to do something special. So. I say you encase it in a thing of blood sausage. She Ooh, would that, never see that coming. She would probably not see that coming. I'm not sure what the response would be at that point either. Could be but. no, but you know what? What's a life without a risk? That is true. That is true. All right, All right. so that's, that's just, going there. Yeah, I will grab my plate here and we'll start plating up the tomatoes. Roast on those just to, just to get a little flavor in there, a little garlic. Do you offer blood sausage uh, like on a daily basis? Is it that is part of the menu? It is not something we normally carry. No. Is this, this like is, a um, St. Patty's Day special kind of, of thing? Yeah, part of the March special thing. We're just you know with tr traditional uh, Irish breakfast. Yeah, we don't normally have this, but this is uh, this weekend is definitely the time to come in and try it. There we'll you go. It's next two days. I'm going to admit something. I was um, reading a historic romance and they were talking about blood blood pudding. And I didn't know that. I thought it was just a phrase or something that they were using, but they actually emptied the pig out upside down and used it to make the pudding. Yes, yes. That's how Iron. these things are done. That's how these things are done. Okay. I, mean, I won't give you the full story behind the sausage either. because Yeah, uh, please don't. Not before I eat. No, probably not. I, I, I understand this. So. Okay, I'm going to try it. Don't say that I'm not a trier. <laughs> What's the verdict? How is it? It just tastes like sausage. Doesn't taste like this? No, you don't get a bit? I don't taste the blood. Blood. Well, that's a good thing then, right? It is a good thing. <laughs> I'll try the the pudding one too. All right. With oatmeal. That one's with the oatmeal and the leeks, and yes, the other one's got the blood. Oh, that one's good. It's got a nice flavor. Yeah, too. I, I prefer the white pudding. I think I tried both. And all right. That's personal preference, though. Good meal to have inside because uh, today it's kind of cold, much colder than we've experienced all week. Amelia's going to let us know what to expect for the weekend. That's when we come back. Stay with us. doesn't love an omelet, right? On a weekend, you're making omelets with uh, leftover, whatever you have. Yeah, I just have a little bit of the leftover uh, white pudding. Decided not to go with the blood sausage. And, you're always and, thinking about me. You know, I try. And then, <laughs> obviously, here, I, I, I normally would roll with a smaller nonstick here, but uh, I'm doing the best I can. I already have one made. And we're just going to saute off the, uh, the white pudding sausage, a little onion, a little garlic, and a little Swiss cheese. Do you saute the um, sausage right in with the... 
I mean, yeah, yeah. Eggs? It depends. I mean, you, it depends on your your uh, technique here. I mean, you can saute it off in a separate pan. You can do it right in here. I usually like doing it in a separate pan. Okay, so. but now the blood sausage and the regular sausage, it is a special for it's St. Special Patty's just Day for at this, the Irishman. Yeah, we had it this week. We had it last week. So. And so you're going to have it this weekend for the brunch that you have both on Saturday and Sunday. It's part of an extensive menu that people can choose yeah. from that includes this. That includes this, there. yes. It's part of the whole, uh, the whole March St. Patrick's Day theme. So You're yeah, going to the parade? Uh, we will, oh, I won't be going anywhere except the Irishman, so uh, you know that's where I'll be the next that's week. A good that's where I'll be the next week, so Change you'll know where it. to find me. But uh, we, everyone else, yeah, you can do the, you know, the parade, and then the Irishman. We're going to have the uh, full tent on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, and so I was just talking to somebody because they see you on winging it, and they said mm -hmm. we have to go. It was at in my orthodontist, my daughter's orthodontist office, oh, and yeah. they want to go. You, but. Can you make reservations? There are no reservations for, on the for not not for the uh, the big day. You can for Friday and for Sunday, I believe. Woo! But, but you cannot for uh, for St. Patrick's Day. We just, in fact, we don't even answer the phone that day. We have a pre-recorded message. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows where to find <laughs> us. Yeah, everyone yeah. knows what's going on. So. <laughs> and then, all right. I'm gonna invite all my friends up here right now. We're gonna watch you finish up with right. the omelet and uh, tell you what you can expect for the rest of the week. That's a very, I, I never make omelets like that where I cook both sides. I'm just, yeah, That's I'm kind of smart. improvising, improvising here a little bit, so. Don't try the flip at home. <laughs> yeah, that might not work out well for you. <laughs> we have an interesting week, though, coming up next week. Yeah, Thank of you. course, we'll be back in the kitchen on Monday like we are every Winging It show. That'll be uh, on Monday. And we'll be checking out a partnership, a great partnership between Roswell and New Era. And TMZ, we always talk to them on Monday to see what's happening in Hollywood and the good and the bad. Have a great weekend and uh, head to the Irishman for brunch.